안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. And I have a question for you. Using JavaScript, how long do you think it will take you to format this date into Korean format or German or Arabic? What about taking a number and displaying it as a currency? How long do you think it will take you to take a number and format it in a social media friendly way? What about taking another number and formatting it to relative time? Without using any library, how long would that take you? I know how long it would take me, one line of code. And that is thanks to an API that not many people know about called the Internationalization API. The Internationalization API has a lot of super useful functions that allow us to format dates, numbers, and even lists into the different languages and formats of the world. The Internationalization API has many different constructors that format different things. The date time format constructor helps us format date and time. To use it, first we need a date. Then we initialize the date time format constructor with the locals that we want to format our date to. And then we call the format method with the date we created before. That will format our date according to the locale that we chose. The date time format constructor also supports options. If we want to, we can specify how the time and the date should look like. In this case, with the date style set to medium and time style set to full, we will get an output like this. You could even use a different calendar if you wanted to, and you will get something like this. You can customize exactly how each unit, weekday, year, month, hour, minute, and seconds should be formatted. With options like these ones, we can expect an output that looks like this. In your options, you can specify the time zone, and you can also choose if you want to use the 12 hour format or not. So if you have a date in Korean time zone, and you want to show your customers in America what time that would be, all you have to do is use the time zone name, and your users will see that date on their time zone. Number format is another constructor that, as you can guess, helps us format numbers. The API is very similar to the date time format. Instead of a date, we use a number. Then we call the constructor with a locale and we call the format method to get an output like this. The power of the number format is on the options we can pass. For example, we can format our numbers as a currency by specifying the style and currency options to get an output like this. And we can also choose how the currency should be displayed to get an output like this. We can round amounts as well, getting this output. We can also, for example, format our numbers as units like kilometers per hour by specifying the style and unit options. That code will give us an output like this one. There are a lot of units. Like for example, liter, giving us an output like this. Or gigabyte, that looks like this. To format the numbers like the counters we see in social media, all we have to do is set the notation option to compact. That will give us something like this. We also have other types of notations, like scientific notation or engineering notation, that look like this. A constructor that maybe you did not know you needed until today is the list format constructor. List format allows you to format lists. If we have a list of fruits like this one, we can use list format like the other constructors, passing a locale and some options, and that will give us an output like this. We can change the type from conjunction to disjunction, and we will get something like this. If you don't want to get AND or OR to display units, for example, you can change the type to UNIT, getting something like this. The last constructor we are going to see is RELATIVE TIME FORMAT. This constructor allows you to format a number into one day ago, or in one month, or after tomorrow. We use it like we use all the other constructors, except that when we call the FORMAT method, we have to specify what unit we want to format on. So with a code like this, 
we get an output like this. If we pass a negative number to the format function, the format will change to the past, getting an output like this. That's it for this video. I hope that you found it useful and I hope that you start using the internationalization API if you haven't used it already. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this API? Are you already using it? Are you going to use it? I'm very curious to know. And don't forget that if you want to learn things like JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, among many others for absolutely free, all you have to do is click the link below to join any of our many free courses that you can take right now for absolutely free with me. Click the link below and I will see you there. Onudo, kamsahago, sanahago, see you on the next one. Down me bayo, bye bye.